first impression was just, these kids have a lot to say. And it's just fantastic that they've been given the opportunity to put it out there. An opportunity for them to express themselves, to not only be strong students and strong individuals in the community, but to take pride in who they are um, and the stories that they have to tell. sort of like a diary, visual diary and, a, and also a written diary of their lives. This is a collaborative artwork uh, between the artist Locus Jones and Refugee Action Support Group students who are at um, Linear High School. We came up with the idea of a workshop and putting an artist with students to combine images and words together. So the idea is that um, words and images come together and words are powerful. Linking uh, young refugees, adolescent refugees, into mentors in, in the community. And in this case, it's about linking up these students with a professional artist and workshopping um, their stories into a, a quite dramatic and even large scale camp, uh, canvas. There was 25 metres of blank canvas, which would put most artists, professional artists, um, would give them something, you know. And they've been moving all along the 25 metre scroll, what could be brought from their head onto the, the canvas. And I found th that way of working spontaneous and free and loose. That's what I was trying to express um, to the children. They need to uh, feel they have a voice. They need to start to express things using English. And the best way to do that is find the deepest connections they have with the things they love, the things they feel strongly. They could blend using their language and then English and play with that interface is a magnificent way for them to start to really feel they have a a new identity, a new voice in this new country. The students, what their feelings on the canvas, what they have been going through, yeah, we've put it on the canvas, so it's beautiful. It's very good to do like um, with a different language, from Arabic to English or opposite of that. So you can like feel that world between your hands. Language is, is about sort of finding a way to describe your, your world. As a literacy foundation, we want to encourage not only the learning of a language, learning how to read in language, but actually for that language to be meaningful. So when we look at something like this, this painting, we're seeing students not only trying to understand their stories, but trying to find the language to tell those, those stories. And so in all the work that the LNF does, it's, it's focused upon the, the need to communicate. You know, the concentration, they didn't want to stop. The bell went for lunch, no, let's keep going. If you can get students that engaged in a task where they are free to do whatever they want, but they have to do it using language, then you know they're going to learn. I don't want to finish, because that's feelings. Feelings sometimes they don't finish. You just want to keep writing. You can't just go up to your friends. Oh, but I want to tell my feelings. Is that you know? So, but when you go on a canvas, you're just going to tell it. You're just going to keep writing. When you're going to put it out there, people are going to read it. They're going to understand you. It's really good to to let everyone know that you are how much you can do. All the people from this country, we can know about them, they know their feeling, what uh, they are thinking about. And it's best you understand their culture, they understand your culture, and you're just expressing your feelings all together. And the space like was not uh, small, so we have to share. We can work side by side, and one can be up there and I can be down there. And it's quite nice, sort of nice, loose experience. If you do it like by yourself, it's going to be really, really a little bit hard, you know, to take and to put your memories like exactly what you want. But if you can look to other, you know, other work from other people, so you can take ideas and you can make something inside your mind and you kind of throw it or write it. So I went, I start writing with, um, what do you call it, with the textures. Then I found that it's nothing, like everybody's writing small with this big canvas. It's going to take ages. I looked at the table, it's ink, what of ink. So I looked at it, I'm like, well, everybody's doing it small, let me do a big, bold writing. I jumped on the table and I just saw all over the place. I felt good, it felt like I let something in. Like, are oh, people gonna see it? Now I can't just gather people around and tell them, oh, I want to tell you my rap, this, that. You know, my feelings. But now they can, everybody can see it. 
everybody can know what I feel. So we can share our memories and we can take help from each other, you know? You can see from the beginning of the canvas where the kids have started off what you'd expect a, a student adolescent to, to come up with, you know, lots of sort of hearts and stars and things like that. And then as they've progressed, you can see they've gone on to telling their stories, so it's quite graphic from there. Further along on the canvas, I think it really comes together when the images and the text combine and they've, they've sort of let go a lot more and there's no sort of borders between each of their stories. Through the collaborative process, they've actually broken down barriers. This meant so much to them, it meant an enormous amount, and I learned a lot watching them about the complexity of the feelings that they brought to the, they had to express, from, you know, fury and grief about what was happening in their country, and then that hopefulness and that new connection and relationship with Australia as a new country. You know, art is a very visceral way immediately to get those feelings out and I think that's the advantage of an art project. It's so much to take in and I think a lot of um, refugees, especially in the media, they're faceless. Um, they're sort of mediatised to be people that you can't see, people that you don't know their stories about, they're on a boat and from afar. Getting that immediate, just understanding the, the language from them, simple things like homesickness written on a, on a canvas. Through being free and liberated, then you open up a whole sort of world, you know. You're just cracking it open to actually expose what's really inside, your subconscious or your memory bank. It allows them to go back through all those folding layers of, of years and, and bring out the stuff that's inside them. Whether it's personal or political hardships, what they've been through, they really have been passionate about doing that and they don't want to stop drawing and writing. You know. They come with such a value for education. They're so happy to be here. They're so grateful to be in a safe country where they can get an education. They value it very, very highly. And yet they come here and they're you know, bound because they don't have any language or they don't have the English to express themselves through that. So art projects like this can really open doors. They can immediately start to express those feelings. I feel really, I feel really like how to love this work and I feel comfortable. I want to say if anyone have any feeling inside herself or herself, so they have to take it out. When I draw a ride, like I've, I feel like I'm in another world, that I don't have problems to show how to respect other people and how to love them, how not to like feel lonely. I need anyone, everyone to see my suffering and how much we like, um, you know, we miss in Iraq, our friends and our school and our houses. And Let them feel us, you know. Let them just not think about themselves and the peaceful they're living in. Let them think about other people. I think deeply about this canvas because uh, there's many people from different countries, they can how they are feeling. So don't keep the <laughs> suffering inside yourself or the sadness, you know, just take it out. It's going to be good for you and you can feel like more comfortable. It's been a great experience for them and for me. When they go to the exhibition, they will be, you know, part of Australian society at large and people will see their connection with the society and I think that's fantastic. And I see an, an open canvas to say we care about what your story is. If you want students to care about their learning, you have to care about them first and that's what projects like this sort of demonstrate.